afternoon. We're going to move the cows today. They need some new pasture, and so um, our older kids are all um, out doing a church function, and so it's Charlie and I and how many younger? Four younger kids. <laughs> good morning, Mama and kittens. She's in there taking good care of her four kittens. It's so funny to watch them. Don't know how much help the younger kids will be. And me and my nutty self, I seem to have misplaced the tripod that I just bought. So, it's probably not going to be a great angle. And I'm not going to be able to just set it up and, and let you guys watch very much. But we'll see what I can show you. Charlie's out there on the mower right now. He's mowing and trying to get the just a, a good path made to set the fence up and I don't know where the cows are but we're going to see if we can find them actually first I'm probably going to put a hose a sprinkler on for my buckwheat growing over here so let's set that up real quick so I got the sprinkler hooked up to water the buckwheat and the kids are hauling the... Hey, don't run over the elderberry tree there. You're running right over it. Why is it not in the middle? Well, because that's not the way the kids mowed it. But they're heading to feed the pigs. That's oh, is that chicken feed? Okay, sorry. They're heading to feed the chickens. Why, why is Dominic riding on the... <laughs> Whatever makes the boat float. All right, so got the sprinkler going. Got to get in there and do some weeding and probably mow some of that grass before the buckwheat really starts coming up. Definitely got to get that pigweed out of there. But that'll be a project for later. Right now we got to um, finish with the cows. Let's see what Charlie wants me to do. Bought some more rebar so we can make some more fence paste. Say hi. Hi. A tape measure. And get a hug. Okay. I don't care you where our tape measure is. Flat. So you put your hand on this and then Find the wheelbarrow. We ended up with what? 12 more posts? 3, 6, 9, 12. So, with a bag of insulators, I'll go look for the wheelbarrow. Grumpy little boy, not wanting to help with the animal chores, means consequences. And we'll take him off that for right now and get him to do something else. Run over there to the shed. Get the wheelbarrow for daddy and bring it back to the truck. All right? And run means run. Come on, you want to show everybody that you know how to run? Or maybe not. I have to go to the barn. But first, I'm going to go to the house to get the hammer. Sludge hammer. That's what we needed. Check. Hinder patch. Oh boy. Daddy, do you need this? All right, Dominic has the wheelbarrow. And you need a reel out of the barn. Mama, it feels like the desert out. Oh my gosh, you're right. It, it does feel like the desert. It feels like the desert out. That looks like the desert too. The grass is getting all brown from the heat. Mom, There's the reel. You don't need cow collar. Why in the world somebody put rocks all over the reel? I don't know. Here we have the reel. You want to carry it? It's heavy. It is heavy. 
Here, Mommy. I can hold the camera. You can hold the camera? Mommy. All right, we'll let you for a little bit. Oh, look what I found, guys. Show the camera. What is that? Can you see it on the camera? Yeah. That is a cicada shell. Can I see? What? That's a cicada shell. What is it? A cicada is an insect that I believe it sheds its shell. Okay, so you know the ground is dry when you have to use rebar post and a sledgehammer to hammer it into the ground. So the reason we chose half inch rebar was because the ground is so dry. We felt I felt like half inch rebar would give us more stability to drive it in than three eighths. So we got the cows moved into the new pasture closest to the house. They are happily eating what grass is in there. Now I just have to head back inside, get my stuff. Hello, husband. Hello, wife. Uh, are we ready to go? Really yeah. ready to go? Yeah. All right. Damien, what about you? Huh? What about you? You ready to go? Truck is started and we're ready to go. We got two different grinder blades to cut tile and a pencil to hopefully mark the floor. All right, well, hopefully that will do the job for us. South Carolina is truly a blessing when you can buy raw milk legally and so we are very fortunate we were able to do this we come and get seven gallons of milk every two weeks and it pretty much gets us through I do usually supplement a little bit by buying um, non homogenized milk from Earth Fair so that um, I use that to make oh, yogurt did, and I do um, pasteurize my milk um, anyway when I'm making yogurt just because that tends to um, give me a better quality product. So it's what we've been happiest with so far. We just got home and we're going to hook up the trailer okay, um, with an IBC tote so we can water our orchard up here because it's so dry. So I'm gonna move the truck. Got it loaded up and down here. Now we just have to fill it up. Turn that on. And we should be in business. I'm gonna turn on a hydrant and get the elderberries and the mulberries started watering again. And then I'll get the second cooler of milk inside.